Hey y'all, so I am doing a nighttime routine just for you to show you some of the products that I use to keep my skin clear and healthy. I have not always had the best skin. Um, I don't even really consider myself having the best skin currently, but my skin is always a work in progress. So I'm always so excited to try new products. And I've been using a few products that I've been sticking with and I've been seeing great results. I'm gonna show you what products those are. But before we get into my full nighttime routine, I'm actually going to do a mask tonight. I only do this mask once a week. It is a part of my holy grail of beauty products. I've been doing it for about a year and a half now. I love it. Um, it is the Indian Healing Clay Mask and it's the Aztec Secret world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing, 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. So this is what I'm using tonight, but before we jump into this, let's cleanse our skin. So this is a creamy cleanser. I started using cream cleansers about six months ago and from what I understand, cream cleansers are more moisturizing than foam cleansers, gel cleansers, and because I've had acne prone skin or I still have acne prone skin, um, things that dry out your skin just sends a signal to your to your skin saying, hey, we need more oil, produce more oil, which creates those breakouts that we don't like. So I try to keep my skin super hydrated and I've noticed a big difference when I use more hydrating products. And this one is a creamy cleanser with cucumber and spearmint to cleanse and hydrate. Um, this is by Dirty Works. Good clean fun, it says. So honestly, I just, try to find the cleanest products I can um, and that are cream that are cream cleansers so it's not a big deal whatever type of cream cleanser you have use that Come on, braids. Y'all put Lenny's braids. I just got them yesterday. They're really neat, really detailed. Oh, so something with cream cleansers, they don't lather up like that, which is great. It's not drying or anything like that, but my, still, my skin still feels super clean. Be right back. So now that our skin is all cleansed, it's time to use our clay mask. I don't do anything fancy. I literally pour some of this in here. Whoa. So outside of making a mess, I just kind of eyeball it about that much of the clay. Then you can use some apple cider vinegar. This is the kind that I use. I eyeball this as well. I don't want it to be too watery and I don't want it to be too dry. Um, so i rather pour in a little bit less. Okay, so now I just get one of my makeup brushes that I've dedicated for this mask. And I just kind of mix it all up. Now you'll see it start to bubble up and this is ready. So I'm just gonna paint it onto my skin. Paint it on so. And the cool thing about this mask is that it will start pulsating. And it feels like it's pulsating to the beat of your heart. That's how I always know that it's working and it's like bringing whatever's underneath to the surface. It's just a great maintenance mask. Make sure your skin is glowing, healthy, and ready at all times. Okay. 
Just have a little bit left. Pretty much all gone though. So now that we're all done with the mask, I'm going to allow this to sit on my face. Um, I normally keep it on for about 20 to 30 minutes. I've kept it on longer, nothing has happened, but the jar does say 15 to 20 minutes. But hey, um, I'll just come back once it's all cracked and hard and all that good stuff. So um, I'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so 30 minutes have gone by. It's time to wash this water in lavender. And I just pour this on a cotton swab, cleanse my face. Well, not really cleanse my face, but just balance out my face. And then I start putting my product on. So now it's time to use all of our serums and all that good stuff. So the product that I've been using lately has been Ordinary. The Ordinary products, um, and they have worked wonders on my skin. I can literally tell a difference. I could tell a difference probably by week one, honestly. And it's just been a part of my holy grail for about a month now. So I will share with you the products that I use. So first up, we're using the salicylic acid. And second up is this name that it, I can't pronounce that well, but it's Alpha Arbutin. 2% plus HA, which is hyaluronic acid. I think I'm saying all of that correctly, but I will tag the product below so that you can know what it is. So this also helps with like the texture of your skin. And once again, I'll do a whole nother video letting you know what these different serums do for my face, but this is a part of my nightly routine as well. Put it all over. Pops in. My skin is a little red right now just from that deep cleansing mask. So that is natural. I need a little bit more on my forehead. So helping with texture, any dark marks, all that good stuff. Next up is our hyaluronic acid, 2% plus B5. Just drop there, drop there. Smooth that all over. This is going to help with our hydration for any dryness we may have gotten from the mask and the deep cleansing. Just going to all the moisture back that may have been taken out so we have a bit of a glow next up is our vitamin C suspension 30% in silicone it's another serum vitamin C helps with dark marks evening out Lastly, I let this all sit for about three or four minutes, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go on and add my cream on, my hydrating cream. I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. And this is just going to add some extra hydration to our skin. Make sure that we are not getting dried out. Okay, so my skin is all cleansed. It feels great. Um, and these are the products that I use. I've linked them all below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If, you try, if you're gonna try any of these products, let me know if you already use these products. Let me know how they work for you. And until next time, I will talk to you later. See ya.